Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm in pyjamas but like I am ready. Like I find basically I'm having a filming day at home today and like in between filming things when I'm like steaming things or tidying up and hanging up things I always just like put comfies on and this is the comfy of choice today. They're new actually, they're from the White Company. They're so soft. I've actually never had White Company pajamas before. I got some new autumn bits from the White Company and oh my god I'm just now very much looking forward to like cozy cozy evenings in so um but as I said I'm having a filming day today my mum is on her way over and we're gonna film a quick little reel of some kind of like late summer like transitional looks um it's a tricky time of year to dress I think like it's still warm I'm actually hot but it's dull and kind of we know that autumn is coming so, so I've put some outfits for mum and I together so we're gonna film those I think that's my mum anyway I'll leave you with the reel here so it kind of gives you some ideas it is now later in the afternoon and me and mum did some filming but I'd planned three looks and it's all like you never know what they're gonna look like until you put the outfits on um, and one look just didn't work so we only filmed two looks which um, I did a little mini Arquette haul so I just quickly wanted to um, show you these bits so it's September and it's time like I find that this is the time where I invest in like good quality pieces that will now see me through like autumn and winter and Arquette is a sustainable brand it's part of the same group as like and other stories and cos H&M it is like the price points are slightly higher than H&M I think that the blazers are um, maybe around 120 pounds uh, jumpers are around 60 to 70 pounds um, but I think they are amazing quality and I really love their pieces they have lots of very like simple uh, pieces so I thought that we could have a bit of a try on together let's have a little look so this is one of the blazers and this is one of their classic I think they're called like wool hoop sack or something like that this is like a beigey colour. I know that I'd get loads of wear out of this. However, because I've got my Frankie Shop blazer, which is kind of like a brownie colour, I really wanted a new black blazer. And I only want to keep one because they are quite expensive. Um, and I only kind of want to invest in one at the moment. So although I do love this colour, also, just looking at it on that, I feel like it's not oversized enough. It feels... I don't know, is it? What do you think? I feel like I love my blazers like super oversized. This is size 36, which is a 10. So also I feel like there's not, there is room in there, like it's not tight, but if I wanted to wear like a knit underneath that, I feel like that could be a bit restrictive. This is a size 10 as well. What do we think? I actually do really like this. And actually, I don't know. I feel like this is big enough. I don't want it to, like, I don't want to like drown me. Um, yeah, I like this. I think this could be a keeper. I feel like a black blazer is just the ultimate. And I didn't get one last year. I've been wearing an old one, but it has gone quite bobbly. And it was like a cheaper one from H&M. And I think it's time now. I'd really like to buy like a forever black blazer. Something that I will have now for years. And I feel like this is a really nice, really nice kind of fit and style. It's like a trench coat, but just like a little short trench. Um, this is quite cute. It's quite nice if you don't want to do like a full trench, but just need like a little lightweight jacket. Um, you can pop her up like as tight or as loose. I quite like it poppered quite tight. Oops. I'm gonna do it on the tighter popper, if I can get it on. That's it. Because I quite like that uh, I quite like the shape when it goes tighter at the wrist and then flares out. I'm going to do the same on this side. I feel like, do you know what, I'm trying it on with not the right trousers of, and the lighting. I'm not, it's not working guys. I'm going to move you again. The lighting is being, it, it, whoops, just tripped over some shoes. The lighting is extremely unflattering so I'm going to keep this uh, quite short and sweet. I do like this 
but I, I just don't think I'm trying it on with the right kind of trousers. I feel like this would look quite nice over jeans. I've got black wide leg trousers on right now. But it is nice, isn't it? It's nice and like lightweight. I love this. It's one of their, it's like a structured knit, like it's quite thick. And like, can you see, it's, it's quite structured. It like stays in place. I love the stripe, love this. Um, I've rolled up the sleeves because they're a bit long on me. I styled this jumper earlier today with mum, so I'll pop the um, full length of it in here, how I styled it. But I'm definitely gonna keep this because I know that this is something that I will get a lot of wear from. And also it's something that I can wear in spring next year as well. I feel like it's not too wintry. Then, um, in the same, like exactly the same cut and fabric, I picked up the bigger stripes as well because I wanted to try them on to see which one I prefer. I'm not actually gonna try this one on because I love this one. Um, but if you prefer more of a chunkier stripe, this one is available as well. And then the other thing that I picked up from Arquette was a black leather belt. Um, I have got my Louis Vuitton belt, but I don't know, sometimes, like I don't want a big logo there. Sometimes I just want like something nice and like simple. It's a leather belt with the gold detailing, which I love. I think it's very like clean and crisp and minimal. I'm loving the look of the trousers with the belt and the jumper. Lighting in here is so much better. I don't know why I didn't bring my things out here to try on, um, but it looks like it's about to storm again as I've been um, filming all morning and then editing this afternoon. And I've got so much more editing to do. And also I'm in London tomorrow and Thursday, meaning that I'm probably not gonna get actually like much editing or like what I call actual work, but really with my job, I guess going to events is work, but like, I just never call that work. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be, I don't mind though, like in, Tom and I don't really do that much in the evening. So I just sit on my laptop on the sofa and I just love getting stuff done. I just, yeah, it makes me feel good. And then I can actually go to sleep knowing that I got it done. These V-Lux windows in the kitchen and that noise, I just find it so, um, so relaxing. Anyway, I've got my bits from Tesco. Just gonna unpack this now. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday morning. I'm heading into London today. Um, I had the weirdest dream last night. I had a dream that Tom went off and found another girlfriend. So naturally woke up very angry at him. And you know, it's so weird when the dream is so vivid. And this morning I was like telling him all in detail. I was like, yeah, right, all right, whatever. And I was like, no, but what you did was this. And he was like, all right. Um, but why is it so, like, why are dreams so vivid? It's so, so I feel like I'm quite tired this morning, you know, and you've had like a very stressful dream. It doesn't make you wake up feeling nice and rested and relaxed, does it? Anyway, I did some roller ring on my face this morning because it felt very puffy. And I don't know if it's like a placebo thing, but I really think it works. I just didn't know what to wear today because the weather, it's currently sunny and like actually quite warm, but I actually think it's just started to rain. I've got an umbrella ready to go anyway, um, but I'll show you my outfit of a day. So I've gone with stripy tee and my Frankie shop blazer. And then on the bottom, I've gone with my River Island wide leg trousers that I've had for, I'm gonna say like two years. I love them so much. Also, I've put blankets on the sofa because Bertie goes out with his dog walker this morning and I know he will get on the sofa when he gets home and it's probably, he's probably gonna be like fairly wet and muddy. So I've just, so I've just Bertie proofed the sofa. Then I've got on my Converse uh, with it as well because I was gonna wear my Birkenstocks but if it's gonna rain, I don't want soaking wet toes. Um, I've got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on this morning, which is quite nice, isn't it? I haven't used this for a while. I think it was run, runway royalty shade. Anyway, just I'm gonna sit and chat to you properly later in this vlog with a bit of a health update um, to kind of tell you what's going on with my endometriosis because um, I know I have touched on it briefly um, before and you guys really kindly often 
like regularly ask about it and i'm actually hopefully having surgery this year i've actually got a pre-op this week on friday um so i'll kind of go into detail and tell you all about that later i'm feeling very like overwhelmed at the minute and i think it's because it's like a new season a fresh start and now i've got all of these ideas and things i want to do but i feel like i don't have the time to like implement them all or like how am i going to do all of this um or like putting lots of pressure on myself to like do this and do that and I, I don't know i just then feel like i'm getting brain fog and then i can't do any of it um so i'm feeling i don't know just feeling a bit weird at the minute <laughs> Hi everyone, I am back from London now. I have taken off my makeup and oh my god that feels so good because today has been so sweaty. It's been humid and muggy and damp in the air and oh my god I've just been so hot and sweaty all day but it's been raining anyway. So it's so nice to come home, take off my clothes, I've got my pyjamas on, I've taken off my makeup. I've just caught up on my emails. I've come home to a very messy house. Tom is poorly upstairs, so he's lying in bed, but I quite like that because then I've got like the downstairs to myself. That I can just get tidied up. So I'd actually, where have they gone? I've just got my headphones out because when I'm tidying or just doing like mundane tasks, I like to listen to a podcast or something. I just feel like it makes tasks more enjoyable. Um, so uh yeah basically i'm just gonna have a good old tidy up just went to use this and realized i haven't shown you i got this from primark home i've been looking for a little wooden stool like this for ages um and yeah it's perfect anyway uh, it's so handy because some of our kitchen cupboards are really tall and i'm only five foot four so this is so handy <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Thursday morning. Um, I'm heading into London again today. We'll catch up in the car in a sec, but I just thought I would show you um, my outfit of the day before I head off. Um, and then, as I said, we'll catch up properly in the car. So today I've gone with a plain white tee. This is from Cos, I really like the fitting of it. Um, and then I've got just like a black satin midi skirt on, but I'm gonna pop my Converse on again because these were actually very comfortable yesterday um, and it's gonna be wet again today, so I don't want any wet toes. 
Oh, I need to sit down to put those on, but what I wanted to show you was, I'm gonna flash you, under my skirt, I've got these, they're from a brand called Heist. I've had these for a few years. I've got a knicker version as well, but they're like, um, control pants i completely forgot that i had these but whenever i wear like a like something like this i can feel quite conscious around like this area but wearing these pants just just kind of shape everything really nicely um so i feel a lot more like confident in wearing this um so i'm just gonna put my shoes on then i'll show you the rest of my outfit i'm just popping on the rest of my gold jewelry I'm actually going to wear the same blazer that I had on yesterday. It just works so well with so many different outfits and this is what I'm going with. Can you see my shoes? Like, I've got my lip products. I'm gonna wear Atelier Cologne. Um, this is Clementine California wallet. Let's go. Guess what? I still haven't got a car mount. So you could be moving all over the place. But I am on my way to the train station. I don't usually do two days a week, especially back to back in London, but it's just the way dates have like fallen this week. But so my first stop, I've been kindly invited by Kerastase to have their Fusio dose treatment blow dry. I had one about three years ago. I was thinking about it this morning. It's one of their intense treatments, but they are like, um, adapted to exactly what you need it's kind of not a one treatment for everyone and then they like basically mix a bit of a concoction exactly what you need um, and then having a blow dry after so that'll be so nice and then um, Natalie and I Natalie is my manager who like handles all of my brand collaborations and contracts and things she um, we are working with very we've been working with very for quite a while now like a couple of years and I absolutely love working with them um, and we haven't properly like met the team so we are meeting them after which is so nice because you know what it's like when you work with people a lot and you only like speak via email and online it's so nice to meet people face to face so then we're meeting them after we're actually going for lunch which will be really nice so I took Bertie over to his little daycare this morning but the traffic was a nightmare I've got so used to it being like school holidays it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get there and back this morning um, oh, I need some fuel um, and also I did get all of my editing done last night that I needed to I didn't finish till about 10 30 but it felt so good to get kind of what was lingering on my mind get it done get it sent off for approval um, so that felt really good because one thing about working for yourself that I really think this kind of takes for me it's taking years to really feel comfortable with is feeling comfortable with the roller coaster of working for yourself some months are really busy some months are really quiet it's just kind of trusting that it will all be okay like it will even itself out um, and August was fairly quiet for me but September has been so busy which is amazing obviously because this is my job and um, obviously that's amazing and they're all with brands that I love so it's been a really exciting start to um, Q4 which is yeah really really like grateful and happy it's just super busy but it's fine because I actually thrive I like feel like I work better being busy anyway my hair done and honestly this is one of my favorite blow dryers I've had in a really long time and um, so they used the Kerastase Fusio treatment and they did the um, use the one for colored hair and then did an add-on for dry ends and look at like the shine on my head I don't know if that's like coming up on camera but honestly it feels really like healthy and looks really really shiny um yeah love it so happy with that and guess what it is absolutely tipping it down outside <laughs> well this is gonna last but i've got my umbrella so i will take all precautions to save the blow dry i'm home from london now london London now. Um, had a very really nice day and now it's my favourite part of the day which is taking off my makeup. Oh so good. We had such a nice lunch but look oh my god I've got the tomato sauce all over my really nice white cos t-shirt um, so I'm gonna take it off once I've taken off my makeup and soak it in some vanish and hopefully that will come out. 
So I'm gonna take my makeup off with my LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I just opened a brand new one yesterday. I've been using this like every day uh, for probably like, oh, I just don't know, like years. I love it so much. I always use it um, to take off my makeup as like the first cleanse because it takes off makeup so well and then I'll do a second cleanse. Um, and I have got a 25% off Elemis code. I feel like that's actually like a very big chunk off. It's off of full size products. The code is LauraB25. I'm working with them on some Instagram content. YouTube isn't included in like the advert, but I just wanted to share that discount code on here um, because I know a lot of you love Elemis as well. Look at that. Uh, and then for my second cleanse, I'm going to use the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I really like this. It smells amazing, um, but it just gives you a really nice deep cleanse. I just wet it a bit to get a bit more of like a lather. Um, I'm actually going to do a face mask. I haven't done one in a long time. And this is the Dynamic Resurfacing Gel Mask. Um, this, this is actually brand new and I've never actually used this one before. On the back of the bottle, it does say that you will experience some tingling. I'm not feeling anything just yet. Little tip, when you're applying your uh, face masks, use, um, you can buy like on Amazon, like a face mask brush or just use like a, an old makeup brush that's clean because it just saves like all that like wastage that you get all over your hands. And you can get quite um, like a nice precise um, application, especially like around your eyes. I'm starting to feel that a little bit tingly around here. Um, but yeah, this is, as, it's, as again, it's part of the resurfacing range, which just really gives your skin like a deep clean. It's got the acids in to break down like the dead, dead skin cells. It's giving you much more like radiant and fresh skin. And also I've done two days in London um, and I just like to give my skin a nice, like a really deep cleanse. Let's just take all that, that rubbish off of it. I'm going to leave you here tonight now, rest of the evening. So for the rest of the evening, I've got evening of working because I've been out all day today um, and the house is a mess again. Like, what? Like, please tell me I'm not the only one. I literally just tidied up everything yesterday and everything's a mess again today. So I am going to the hospital tomorrow, so I'll update you um, in the morning with, like, what's going on.